Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. In today's video, we're going to explore whether or not you can turn pure soda into cotton candy. Guys, we've done some cool experiments making cotton candy and not too long ago we had one where we tested a bunch of different things that you guys wanted to see. And in the response comments to that video, I saw a lot of people saying they wanted to see us try to do this with soda. They suggested we try and use the Mexican Coke that is known for having cane sugar in it as opposed to high fructose corn syrup. And I started trying to think about whether or not this is something we can do. In the past, we have dehydrated soda and freeze-dried soda, comparing what happens with high fructose corn syrup versus real sugar. In both of those cases, with the freeze-drying and the dehydrating, we got sort of a thick syrup. We didn't get anything that really looked like a hard candy or a dry powder, which is the kind of thing we would normally want to put into the cotton candy machine. If it has any moisture in it, it's not going to melt down and then form those thin strands that make up cotton candy. It would just sort of sludge out the sides or get sprayed in an arc around the dish. And that's not what we wanted. And at first I was trying to think about if there was anything we could do. I mean, we could freeze dry it multiple times or dehydrate it over and over. Um, and I was thinking that it wasn't gonna work because we'd tried both of those and they just, it doesn't go anywhere. However, I did eventually remember that about a year and a half ago, I did some experiments with trying to make hard candy out of soda. If you've seen our thumb sucker video, Grant and I took molds of our thumbs and then we made hard candy just with sugar, corn syrup, and flavoring, and we poured it into those molds, adding a lollipop stick, giving us a lollipop in the shape of our thumbs. When I was prototyping that, I did make hard candy out of soda, just by heating it up on the stove until it reached what's known as the hard crack stage, and then pouring it out and let it cool down. I thought maybe if I can get a hard candy out of it, I could then take that hard candy, break it up, put that in the cotton candy machine, and try and make cotton candy from it. So today, that's what we're going to do. Uh, here I do have some what's known as Mexican Coke here in the US. In Mexico, I think it's just known as Coke. It's just Coca-Cola that has sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. Other than that, it should be pretty much the same thing. So here's the basic idea. After several people requested it, we tried to see if there was a way to turn soda into cotton candy. We're gonna take you through the steps we tried and see what result we get. We are going to try boiling this Coke down until it heats up to the hard crack candy stage, pouring it out, let it cool down into a hard candy. Then we're gonna try and break that up, put it into our cotton candy machine and see if it will turn into actual Coca-Cola flavored cotton candy or if it will just burn and make a huge mess. Along with that, we're gonna try a couple other things. First, we're going to see if it is possible to do this with soda made with high fructose corn syrup. In the United States, at least, that's by far more common. It's easy to get your hands on. Most things you're gonna get in a can or a two liter bottle are going to have high fructose corn syrup in it. Uh, and so as a precursor to that test, we're actually just going to take pure corn syrup and try and heat that up to a hard crack stage. And then we'll probably try it with some soda, whether or not it works with the corn syrup, just to cover all of our bases. Now we've got everything set up here. I'm gonna go grab Callie and see if we can actually get this to work. I've got the experiment set up. Are you ready to go? I uh, can't. Are you still playing Raid Shadow Legends? Yeah. That brand new collection RPG game that's taking the mobile gaming world by storm? Yeah. Is that the one that like 10 million players have already downloaded in just three months? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has great graphics and amazing storyline and 400 champions and I don't know why you're not playing with me right now. Seriously though, I mean, the details on these champions are ridiculous. Seems like a really cool game. It's got something for everyone. You can collect the characters. You can progress through the storyline. It's got incredible graphics. I personally like the live player battles. That's my favorite part, but that could just be me. Guys, this game is free to play. You can enjoy PvP battles in the arena, in the dungeons. There's engaging in boss fights. The game has a near perfect score on the Play Store. Raid is growing super fast. There's a brand new update that just went live. There's a loyalty program for new users and there is a daily reward for the first 90 days that you play. Pretty much everyone, you should go ahead and click that link in the description down below. You get 50,000 silver when you start and a free Epic Champion as part of the new player program, so. Yes, everyone should get the game. Uh, are you ready for the experiment now? Mm, you know, I'm, I'm good. You, uh, you got this one. Okay, can I maybe have my phone back? No, I drained my battery playing playing Raid Shadow Legends. All right, I'll, I'll just get this. Right.
All right, our Coca-Cola, we cooked it until it hit a hard crack stage, poured it out, let it cool down. Some of it's still cooling down, but I got these parts that have cooled down the most and it does break like a hard crack candy for the most part. Uh, it might be a little bit softer than some types of candy. Oh, there you go. That warmed up a little bit. Some parts break, some parts more or less. So maybe that was soda. The actual hard crack stage is not quite the same as a sugar, corn syrup, water mixture. But I am quite confident we've removed all the moisture from this, so I still want to try it. I'm going to put this in the machine and see if we can get Coca-Cola cotton candy. I'm just going to put a couple of pieces of this in here and see if we start getting anything. Whoa! Instantly start getting stuff. All right, I'm going to try to put more in at once because that just seemed so scattered. I don't think it really held itself together at all. go. All right, Coca-Cola into cotton candy. Does it work? Well, we got some. We definitely got some Coca-Cola cotton candy fluff. It is not as fluffy as regular cotton candy. And I've discovered you really have to make sure you hit a hard crack stage. If your candy is soft after you've poured it out and let it cool down, if it's still flexible, it's not going to work. We actually had to take our Coca-Cola that we had already poured out, it was still too flexible, so I had to put it back on the stove, heat it back up, and make sure it hit that hard crack stage. And I actually just went like a tiny bit over to really make sure it would solidify down to where we needed it. And it worked. As for whether or not you would want to do this, Coca-Cola has a lot of fairly bitter, strong flavors in it. Caffeine is a strong flavor, the caramel is a strong flavor, the cola flavor in general is pretty intense as well. And when you do this, you kind of concentrate all of those as well as adding like another bit of boosted caramel flavor, even slightly burned caramel flavor by getting it up to that high of a temperature. So if you really like the flavor of Coca-Cola, then you might enjoy this stuff. I'm not a huge fan and then how it sort of concentrates all those flavors. It really gets it to a point where I'm not really in love with this, but it did work. It does taste like cola mixed with a little bit of burnt sugar. I got a couple other sugar-based sodas and then we are also going to try the corn syrup and the corn syrup based soda as well and see if those also work. Nice fluffy cotton candy though. I just can't put it in correctly. cotton candy in all parts of my face. So there you go. This is about how much cotton candy we got. This was two bottles of soda boiled down into a hard candy, poured out, allowed to cool, then broken up into sort of a rough sugar and then put into the cotton candy machine. And let's give this a test. It tastes sort of like a strawberry cherry cotton candy. All right, this is the combination of our green apple and our berry flavored Jones soda. You can see that like it broke into pieces, but then those pieces sort of started sticking together. That might be a little uh, unstable. Seems like it's a lot, maybe thicker strands and heavier. Uh, and so it, a lot of it just ends up on the bottom of the pan. It doesn't float up into the air the same way traditional cotton candy does. The green did not work as well as the pink. It did create something, but it went on pretty sticky and thick and really not cotton-like. Tastes good though. It tastes like the combination of the sodas. This is some of our corn syrup sugar. I just put pure corn syrup into the pot and heated it up until it was at the hard crack stage. And you can see that it is holding its shape pretty well. That gives me some hope that this will actually work in the cotton candy machine. Let's give this a try. Seeing a couple threads. It might not be warmed up all the way yet. Oh, now it's just throwing out globs. This is like candy saran wrap. Okay, all right, we got some cotton now. 
All right, I'm gonna say it works, but it behaves differently from regular sugar. So this is made of 100% corn syrup. Cooked up to hard crack stage for candy and then let cool and then put in the machine. This honestly looks like fiberglass more than it looks like cotton. It's got like shards in there. Just the way that looks, honest to goodness, that could be fiberglass, but it's made of corn syrup. And it does not taste like cotton candy. It's slightly sweet, has a much more fibery texture, just not nearly as much sugar flavor or flavor in general as normal cotton candy. Dissolves about the same, sticks to your fingers about the same. Well, honestly, I would call that fiberglass candy more than cotton candy. All right, this used to be orange Fanta. Now it is orange Fanta sugar, sort of. We're gonna throw that in and see if it works. Oh, oh, that's actually working great. Okay, that worked way better than I thought it was going to. Given what our corn syrup did when we tried to turn that into cotton candy, I thought we'd get something similar because this uses high fructose corn syrup, but this is a, this is a pretty good fluff right here. There's not a ton of it, and it is, I think, a little bit denser than normal cotton candy, but it, it wisped up quite nicely. And you can definitely taste the orange. Way more like cotton candy than fiberglass candy. Oddly dense though, the way it sort of sticks together to itself. Should you turn Coca-Cola and other sodas into cotton candy? It is possible if you cook them to the point where they hit a hard crack stage, turn them into hard candy and then break that up, you can make it work. The Coke worked a little bit. I actually think we had much better results with our red soda. That was actually a combination of a Jones soda that was red and a Fanta strawberry soda. So it was just sort of a combination of two sugar-based red sodas. That one worked pretty well. I was very interested in what happened with our corn syrup. We did get like a fluff that's more like fiberglass than cotton. Very little flavor. And then we got pretty good results with our corn syrup-based soda. That was an orange Fanta. That worked pretty well. A little bit more dense than regular cotton candy. Cotton candy with soda is probably not your best bet. You're not gonna get as light and fluffy of an experience unless you're using pure corn syrup and then you lose out on all the flavor. Thanks again to our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Don't forget to click the link in the description to download the game, get 50,000 silver, and a free epic champion as part of the new player program. Guys, that's not all. We've always got more for you to see. Check out the most recent video by clicking that box at the top, and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.